Welcome back! A beer related video with beer in it. The uh, final thoughts, final tasting of the Belgium Cezanne. I have to say, I'm quite impressed with it. I think Tony Yates left a message on the brew day or, or something like that, the video, where he said, uh, Belgium Cezanne. Have you ever tried Belgium Cezanne? <laughs> I was thinking, oh god, what have I done? What have I done? I must say that I don't think. I've brewed up a beer before where it has changed so much in, in such a short period of time. When we did the sneak peek of this, it was it was like it was very raw. Um, get rid of this spider. It was like it was really raw. Um, there was quite a lot happening and trying to trying to get at you all at once. There was. Uh, there was a real nice bitterness to it and quite a bit of funk that was coming with it, a, a bit of a tartness that sort of stuck with the bitterness and it was really nice, really refreshing. Didn't really get much on the hops in the sneak peek but my goodness me, the time has changed this dramatically. So cheers fellas, let's dive in and uh, see where we go. <laughs> it seems to have lightened up quite a bit. The Pilsner Malt seems to be shining quite a bit now. It's very drinkable and light, but not void of flavour. And the hops are definitely coming forward. Well, I'm assuming it's the hops that I'm putting this down to but the aroma and the flavour is a little bit reminiscent of a lager top that we have in the UK uh, or a lager shandy. It's, it's lager and lemonade or bitter and lemonade and it has that citrusy aroma and taste running through it uh, which I assume is only coming from the yellow sub hop it's definitely come forward but yeah it's just so fresh and light it's really nice and clean that uh, funk and tartness that came with the bitterness has really mellowed really really mellowed in fact so's the bitterness it's still there but it's it's so slight and I think that that's uh, that's a good thing for this beer because the rest of it is light. It's uh, it's it's quite balanced. Mm. I'll tell you what else it had as well at the sneak peek. It had a very strong Belgium-esque aroma to it, um, and that seems to have mellowed as well. It's left all the flavours that I was originally getting, but it's toned them all down, and it's just a subtle saison. It's not over the top or in your face, and yet it's still packed with flavour. It's really good. I can drink it by the gallon. And that's why I thought I ought to get in here now at 9 o'clock and do the final thoughts because uh, I don't think it's going to last too long. But that's it, fellas. That's the, uh, the Belgium Saison. It's looking and tasting and smelling fantastic, and um, I'd recommend trying this recipe out. It's not one of mine, it's one I took and I can't even remember where I took it from. Um, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, using the new tap to serve, the uh, intertap with flow control, I've never had a pour that um, that tame <laughs> from, from uh, any of the taps that I've ever had in the previous setup or in this. 
and it's down to the length that I put in there. I put twice the amount of beer line on that tap and it's a normal serving pressure to what I serve on the rest. But it's just, I mean the tap's full open on the flow control and it's just pouring out a dream. It takes longer, which isn't a problem, but as you saw at the beginning, there's no foamage, there's no massive head that forms. It's, um, it's working very nicely. I'm very pleased with it. Mm. That's it fellas, there's not much more to say, so as always, don't forget to thumbs for the kids to do. Don't forget to hit the like and hit subscribe, click it, you won't start to the next video, get it on board. See you until next time, I'm out of here. <laughs>